Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use the liquify tool in Photopia to create a watercolour effect. So sometimes when we're creating artist pages, artist analysis pages digitally, um, obviously some of them are hand rendered techniques. Now there is a way we can kind of get a watercolour effect in Photopia. So I'm just going to start off by um, putting in my artist images. So file, open and place. Um, Abby Diamond, and I'm just going to pick just one or two, just for the purpose of the video, just to show you what we can do. That's one, and second one. Remember when you're scaling your images to hold shift down to create an equal um, proportion when scaling. So now we've got our images in, we want to imitate this watercolour effect to create a background on our uh, artist research page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock my background layer and I'm going to add in a new layer. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Then what I'm going to do on the left hand side of the screen is head for the brush tool and I can see, if I just turn that up. I can see how big my brush is. So this is what we're starting off with. So our, just our basic paintbrush tool. So once I'm happy with the size of my brush, I'm then going to click the soften button, just because this effect uh, works best to create watercolour kind of imitations. So make sure that the hardness on your brush is right the way down. Once you're happy with that, we're going to go down to the bottom of our screen where our two colours are, click the top colour, and we're going to open the colour picker and pick a colour that comes straight from my artist images so it creates a direct link. Once I'm happy with the colour, go for uh, that nice blue there, maybe a little bit darker. OK it and we're ready to paint. So you can see straight away that's what it looks like. So once I'm happy with the placement of my um, painting, I'm going to go to filter and liquify. So we'll get this box. Now to zoom out, you just need to hold on your cursor and pull out. So once we've got this, that's our painting on our layer. So we're just going to turn the brush right up. And this is all about just kind of playing around with it. So it's about really exploring the tool and just having a go. And if you click and drag, you can actually manipulate the paint colours now obviously working in Photopia, the best thing if we don't like something we do, we can always uh, click undo. So if you did this and you didn't like it, you could just, once you've okayed it, you could go to edit panel. So never panic about getting it wrong. So I kind of like the look of that and we can see it kind of does imitate the same kind of movement and look of a watercolour. We could even for further development, add in another layer, so this button at the bottom, so add in another layer, open my paintbrush tool, pick my colour, and different colour this time, a bit, a bit lighter, OK it, brush over the top, so add a bit more colour, filter, liquify, and I'll play around with this colour as well. So really just having a go, dragging it around, doing whatever you like with the feel. This one's on cap. And I've even got a double layer. That looks interesting as well. Alright guys, so that is the liquify tool. Thank you for watching.